Hi, this is the UK Atheist and welcome to my channel. In this video, I will be giving you a very easy to follow description and understanding of a scientific theory. Even the most sceptical theist should be able to follow this. First of all, let me just establish that a scientific theory is not just a theory. When theists say evolution is just a theory, I feel like shouting through the computer screen at the complete ignorance and stupidity of that statement. To really understand what a scientific theory is, you've got to understand the terms that are associated with it. The terms used in science are used very specifically, which do have a different meaning elsewhere. This is where the confusion comes into play. I will label the terms for you to easily understand them, and in order from least important to most important. Starting with the least important, which most of you may find surprising, but it will all make perfect sense soon. So, let's get started, shall we? Number 1. Fact. When scientists talk about fact, they are talking about confirmed observations. We have many facts, and to be honest, these are interesting but not very exciting. This is because they do not explain anything, and they are common in the world of science. Number two is a hypothesis. A hypothesis is a testable statement. For example, you can have an idea and want to test it. You may think there is a significant relationship between A and B, so you go out and test it. Then you can rather accept or reject your initial statement. Hypotheses are very useful. They help scientists build up a theory. Number three is law. Simply put, a law is a descriptive generalization. The law must be confirmed and broadly agreed upon through the process of inductive reasoning. Right, so now we get on to the most important one. Number four is theory. To clear things up for theists that do not understand, a scientific theory is the most important thing in science. A theory to a scientist is the explanation. These are the logical constructs of facts, laws and tested hypotheses that when put together in a logical fashion give us an explanation of the natural phenomenon. So in basic terms, a scientific theory gets a natural phenomenon that is already occurring and explains it. So to sum up, scientific theories such as germ theory, evolution, gravity, plate tectonics, atomic theory and quantum theory are not just theories. Not a guess or a hunch, a scientific theory is an explanation of a law, something that is happening and is testable or observable. A theory is a large construct of an explanation of natural law. So there you have it. If you want some more information on scientific theories please visit www.notjustatheory.com or feel free to comment or send me a private message. On an additional note, I would like to give a big thank you to the YouTuber Frozen Taco Meat. Weird name, but thank you for your suggestion of this topic. As mentioned before, if anyone has a suggestion, please leave them in the comment section. If I use your idea, you'll also get a mention in my video. This has been the UK Atheist. I hope you have enjoyed my video. Please don't forget to subscribe, rate and comment. Thank you for watching and see you next time.